morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. It's no longer news that um, disbursement is imminent this week. Uh, although many people are saying that uh, these people are fond of saying it, if they can go to the length of telling people to come for Thanksgiving uh, service and they did the Thanksgiving service and tell people to go home that when they sleep they will see the alert. If they can go to this extent, these ones they are doing now, we just keep our fingers crossed and uh, pray. So listen to this update and uh, we'll see you at the other side. Disbursement itself has lingered, have been scheduled and adjourned severally since December 2023 till March 2024. Here we are in April 2024. Disbursement was scheduled to happen immediately after the Salah holiday. When was the Salah holiday? That was uh, Thursday. Friday was the only working day. As we have earlier stated in this channel that Disbursement was scheduled to happen after Salah holiday. When was Salah holiday? Yeah, this is the voice of uh, Mr. Onge Olivia. He has said a lot of things. Uh, you know, he gave us false hope that there will be disbursement uh, or before Salah break. So, and there was no Salah break uh, disbursement. So. By saying this man why is he categorically making emphatic statements and uh, anyway just listen to him again he's still making another emphatic statement again ending it was between tuesday wednesday and thursday friday was the only working day in the week and friday as we already know is half working day and the most sensitive part of this holiday phenomenon is that people that are called muslims who are the frontiers of these grants have traveled for Salah holiday out of the jurisdiction of facilitating the disbursement of these grants. Therefore, we don't expect disbursement to have taken place on Friday because these frontiers or facilitators of these grants haven't returned from their holiday. We are expecting them to return or resume work in the new week that we are already facing, Monday. We have heard from the All Grant Pressure Group President, Comrade Abdul, saying that everything that is about disbursement is going to take place when the grant facilitators have returned from their holiday in the new week. Yes, I want you to listen to this uh, comment by Comrade Abdul, the German machine. I believe this is one of the most intelligent guy in the grant community this statement he made for for me a lot of people are misquoting him i don't think he gave a date for disbursement and i don't think he said disbursement is this week just pay attention and listen to his comment read in between each of his statements just pay attention the of God, i do not think i believe we are at the end of the journey and um, I want to tell Nigerians that there is nothing important to me. I don't want to be over exaggerated. If not, I will have saved my life. Nothing is as important to me now. As I breathe, I think of it. Every point I breathe, I think of it. And all my wishes, all my desires and prayers is to see that this thing is fulfilled, which is this gospel. And by the glory of God, God has answered our prayer. Now we are praying as we resume back to work, then God should start celebrating. You can perceive. <laughs> You see it, he didn't emphatically say that disbursement is this week. So, so you know, you know that is why in this channel we analyze, we criticize, we give you. Some people are, are on our neck saying we are we are pessimistic, we are not objective. You can't give people, we can't lie to people. That is why people are having hypertension because they told people that these grants, each beneficiary is going to have five million. They told people that this grant, each each NGO is going to have 35 million. They told people that Bondo Head are going to have 100 million. 
Now, when the scale is now cut down to 10, 10, um, 100,000, how do you expect people to take the shock? But at the beginning, you tell people the truth. No matter how bitter it is, there is no shock that they will have later come and absorb because they are, they are, their stimuli is already configured to no lies. How can you tell somebody that is going to get at the five million at the end you are giving the person hundred thousand and you expect the person not to have emotional disturbance? So that's why I say in this channel we say things that are objectively true. Now everybody on Jolivia and the rest now are now saying that next week that Abdul said Abdul, you have listened to the to, to this his comment. When we resume work, we will see how we'll do it if the disbursement will start. Resume work, yes, you resume work on Monday. When you see you resume work till the end of next year, they are resuming work. So he didn't make emphatical statement that this was meant is this week. You know, so guys, uh, I'm not a naysayer, I'm not pessimistic. Rather, this is an objective truth so that we will go and carry out our work and if we need to take any, so that when the news is broken down that this week there's no disbursement. Who will not start suffering emotional trauma some people have committed suicide because of these things this is what have led people to it's not really the money it's the way they paint issues i bet you at the beginning they told bundle head that they are going to collect 35 million they told ngo that they are going to collect 20 million even even it was even last month or the last yes last month they said ngo is collecting 20 million why giving people this false hope when you know there was no 20 million so that's the thing we are saying, uh, guys. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. But authentically speaking, there is no uh, 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 emphatic statement by Ken and his cohorts. Even Abdul, I've said it, you heard it. He didn't say that there was, this was meant this week. So, guys, that is it. Let's continue. From the level of excitement that he entertained in his birthday. They keep repeating disbursement, disbursement in all activities. That implies we are most certain of disbursement taking place in this new week ahead. I think by this time next week, most grant subscribers might have accessed the money, might have received the alert, access the money and use it to build businesses and exciting lives for themselves. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This man, I don't know if it's really, it's really normal. This money we are talking about is hundred thousand, and that hundred thousand we are talking about now, the beneficiaries are not getting the whole hundred thousand. There is still a bargain between the beneficiary, whether it's twenty, eighty, or seventy, thirty, or forty, sixty, or fifty, fifty. Okay, if worse comes to worse, it becomes fifty, fifty. That is fifty thousand. You're using fifty thousand to build a beneficiary life for yourself. Can fifty thousand naira afford one bag of rice? Hmm. Going by the arrangement and the schedule, that implies as a new week we are facing is breaking the disbursement templates, the MOU and every other sensitive document is going to be circulated and revealed in the app for the NGOs to start. Monday is the onset of this activity. Then let's project disbursement to take place between Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday in the new week. The way that all the arrangements for disbursement have been concluded. You might have been aware of the recent meeting that took place during the holiday weekdays. Arrangements and conclusions were reached in that meeting, all pending the resumption of this Grand Frontiers on the new week we are facing to effect disbursements from the designated accounts to the accounts of the NGO CEOs. We expect that the NGO CEOs will, on their part, fast track disbursements to the beneficiaries within 5 to 10 working days. Therefore, it's no more a factor of if these disbursements will take place or if money is there to be disbursed. There are certain people that are still doubting the authenticity of the UAG disbursement. Money is available for disbursement and the federal government have already approved this money to be disbursed to Nigerians. 
Again, the necessary documents to warrant disbursement taking place have already been submitted and approved. All what we have submitted and approved, but not been signed. Though. So you want to tell me that this grant have lingered around for eight years plus? They will just within five working days sign the document, disburse to NGO, put the month, put the app, check the logistics, check the data, check the this thing. All this will happen within five working days. I'm not a naysayer, but let me pray and let us pray. Even if it's miracle, let it be. Let uh, let us pray. And mind you, all these things we are doing, how much? Hundred thousand. And that hundred thousand beneficiaries are not getting the whole hundred thousand. Depend on the agreement you made with your NGO. The least least agreement. The least is fifty fifty, which is fifty thousand. That is all this stress. Okay. Are waiting for at the moment is disbursement commencing after the signing of the MOUs and other sensitive documents by the CEOs and that is happening in the new week we are like so, so so the the documents have not even been signed the MOU and the whole logistics they've not been signed so you want to tell me that they, they will sign this thing within these five working days it's good or we always tell ourselves the truth to it's good they will know they use lie they defraud people because these people now why did they tell us these lies because they, if they tell us the truth many people go back out many people will give them money to sustain them for hotel for abuja and because of this uh, money they give them to sustain themselves for abuja that's why they, they lie to us now so guys i'm not a naysayer i just the objective may we pray if the police was when money go come if not miracle may we pray so guys we will see for another uh, update have a nice week guys bye